uh, yeah, let's try this again, I guess. Got the new carrier right here, about to go in. Mint, let's try this again. And just like that, we have a freaking mint carrier burn back in action. Now that the carrier bearing's fixed, let's take her for a test drive. Few moments later. Call that one. He done pulled us over. So he said, my tent's way too dark and I can't have a tinted windshield. I've had so many vehicles, okay? I understand these cops, they were just doing their job. Um, I am pretty pissed that I got a ticket for my windshield, my windows being tinted, but again, they're doing their job. And in Indiana, I've never had any issues. I roll this one down again. This thing is stupid dark. Stupid dark. So I got a ticket for uh, windshield. Sign covering sunscreen material on windshield is tinted. Or windshield is tinted. $116 ticket. We're just going to pay it because, I mean, it's not moving violation. And I mean, it is tinted. Oh, fuck. It's not like, oh, it's not tinted. You can obviously tell it's windshield tinted. So... Also, my first time being pulled over to this truck, I have this plate, or wherever it's at. I had the branded 24 of the Indiana plate on here. I guess that's like a crime. Like, <laughs> you go to jail for that. And uh, the cop's like, you need to take this plate off because I didn't want to go to jail today, especially in Florida. So, cops are real cool. I did get a ticket, but it's better than going to jail for the plate that I haven't transferred over. No, not dark. Not dark at all, I don't think. What do you think, Thomas? Not bad for a thousand bucks, huh? Not bad for a thousand bucks. Twelve valve. Five speed. Four wheel drive frame, but it ain't no four wheel drive axle. No can do on this one, boys. I fight for the right to be faithful Tell me I ain't earned this, but I'm grateful Can't stand sitting back while I'm eating my But hate won't put food on the table Now they all attacking them, cause I'm passionate Nissan gotta take it to the maxima Told them I was up next and they laughed at them So I didn't say shit, I just backed it up uh. But we'll see who gets the last laugh Going hard now, no one can stop me And where I am after all you to talk shit huh? I got the right to be cocky On and on, it goes on and on Got the whole crowd lost in that ambiance With the hands up, surfing that audience Problem with the game now? What? No sense of direction. Yeah, I used to fit in with that lame crowd. Why? Cause of fear of rejection. Now found me, found that in a He can barely turn this thing. Straight pissing people off. <laughs> well goddamn. Stupid, stupid thick. There's literally no turning radius on this thing.
What could we be going to get now? Hmm. Let's see where this adventure takes us. Oh yeah, hauling this back up north for a customer. It's cheap over here, I think, actually. Two fifty nine or two ninety five a gallon. Yeah, boy. Always out of fuel for this truck. Every day. Headlights look freaking sick, though. Wrong place. Wrong hole. A little bit more. A little bit more on the forces, you think? I think you should polish them with some diesel fuel. Spinner kit. So, Joe done hit a tire on the highway, and I guess hit the carrier bearing. He didn't know it, he just thought he had a tire. Hit the carrier bearing and decided to loosen up the drive shaft a little bit. So, carrier bearing's loose. Well, he was in Michigan getting an axle for me. This thing fucking ate through the fuel tank. You see, clean inside that sucker. It was a nice fuel tank, nice sump on it, brand new, but nope, he freaking whacked it. So now we gotta fix the carrier bearing once again. Oh, this one still looks good, honestly. You gotta get a new bolt for it, <laughs> put a new fuel tank in it, and yeah. But this thing might have a new home tomorrow morning. We shall see. We shall see in this video coming up. So, we got Joe's truck on the trailer, and uh, I mean, you can't really help blasting a tire that you didn't see. It was either a car here, a car there, or the tire. So, obviously, you gotta take the tire out. We don't wanna risk anyone getting hurt, so. It fucking sucks. He was like an hour and a half from the house. I had to go grab him. Um, good thing we got the freaking tow rig all set up. But yeah, he was getting an axle for that blue truck that you seen earlier in the video. There's the axle for it. We just got to get it cleaned up and out of the bed now. But I'll unhook this at the shop, back that up to the trailer, and get that axle out. So we should be rolling. Oh snap! Our monthly freaking diesel crate came in. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. Stop the dinging. It's got a bottle opener on it. Diesel crate sent their list of codes to use. Sick. Got a jam handle, which will be great for the new truck that's literally behind me. Stickers as always. Everyday diesel treatment and extreme rain repellent. So it looks like you wiped this on the windshield and it lets the rain freaking beat off. So, a lot of people have been asking me, why don't you film walking around at shows? Reason behind that is when I go to shows, everyone's playing music. Um, being a YouTuber and being that that's my full-time income, it's just hard because it demonetizes my videos and stuff gets copyrighted. So I just film edits of it and then around the show when music's not playing, if I can get that lucky. But we're currently up in Indiana in the new truck. Um, the next video will show that we're going to head out to Fort Myers, Florida with Thomas. He's buying two standard cabs and uh, should be good. Next video, I'll reveal the freaking new truck. So with that being said, it's going to end today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe because this shit's sick. Peace.